on behalf of directors Justin Scott, Greg English, and the Coleman, we want to welcome you to this. Glad you came out. Glad you're going to brave the heat. And also glad that you trust the stadium with us. We really appreciate that. <laughs> Realize that you are seeing the last preview performance in this stadium. Uh, the next time you come in here, it'll be a new modern uh, thing to rival what the Titans have. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about the show. First of all, you guys that have been around a while understand that this is something that we start on very early on. The kids start on it in July. The staff starts developing this uh, about a year out. We start talking about show concepts, we start talking about the music we want, and what would fit the personality of the group that's coming up. There's a lot that goes into the, the background on how we're going to do something and what we're going to do. And then we put all these things together with a, a lot of talented folks, and we come up with, a, with something that the kids start working on mid-July, some really serious heat, and then hit pretty hard every day for a couple of weeks before school starts, and then every afternoon at that point. Now, what you're going to see today is going to be a sneak preview of the entire performance. As the show goes on, you'll see different elements will stop will stop what they're doing. Like the part of a marching show involves guard, it involves drill, it involves music, it involves choreography, it involves so many things. And you'll see the first three minutes of the show, you're going to see all of that in play. The guard work, the choreography, the drill, the percussion parts, all, all in harmony, all working together. And then as we get further in the show, we'll have different elements that we'll lay out as we're developing those things. So you get to, what you're going to get to see tonight is something that's a, a little special and a little bit behind the scenes. Let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing. This show, and this is the first time, I'm real proud of these guys right here, this is the first time they've ever had to set up for us, and so they're working real hard. So uh, this is only the only time they'll get applause, so let's have some applause right here. As the year goes on, you're going to see more and more stuff added on as the, the first two or three ball games go. Um, the visual design, all the stuff you're going to see, all the, all the movement and all the drill, all of that stuff was designed by CHF alumni Steve Prowl. We're very happy to have him. He has a background in drum corps. He has a background working for several other bands. But he gives his best stuff to us, which is what, something we really appreciate. Uh, the music. This music, you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is all original music written for us for this show, specifically for this show. It was written by a staff member, uh, Attica Tinsley. If you have a child that's a brass student, they probably are taking private lessons from him. Uh, he works with our sixth grade. He's a part of our staff, and, he, and we have discovered that he is a greater, that he's not only a great arranger, he's done our arrangements for a while, but we decided this year, what could he do if we had him to write the stuff? So this is all original music. The guard routine is done by TS alumni Matt Bidding and TS alumni and current faculty member uh, in the vocal department, Angela Beal. You're starting to notice the trend here, aren't you? Uh, our percussion instructor is new with us this year. His name is Steve Wolf. We're very happy to have him. He's a very talented young man who is already added a lot to our program. He's, he's right over here. It's the first time in Tullahoma to welcome the people. A lot of the set, the set design is by a lot of different people, and we're going to be announcing some of those people as time goes on. Um, the show shirt, you guys that are wanting to show your support of the, of the band, the show shirt uh, we're design I'm wearing one right now, and I will. There's a, there's a, we are having to, have to be modeling one right here, the front and the back of one. I'd be the front. Um, <laughs> these show shirts were, were designed by uh, Mallory Rose, THS alumni, and very talented artist. Uh, we haven't changed our logo on front. On back, you'll see Dark and Stormy Night. Uh, which we'll talk about in just a second. On the front, we haven't replaced the stylized T that we've used all these years. 
this is a silhouette of uh, a band member in the style of Alfred Hitchcock. Everybody remember the beginning of the Alfred Hitchcock? So when you look at the photos, you'll see that this is a, it's a little inside joke that you guys now know. All right, one of the most often used starts for a mystery, for a novel, for a gothic novel, is on a dark and stormy night. And that seems to kind of set the mood for what's going to happen. You're also going to notice that we're going to use some different instruments. I'll talk about those. Now, the idea of dark and stormy night is one that Steve Prowl has. So I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about that. Okay, get up there. Okay, so this is a show that's kind of been tossed around for a couple of years, and, and we decided that uh, this was the year to do it. Uh, the idea came from, like, the old gothic horror novels, like Dracula and Frankenstein, and also from, uh, of course, Alfred Hitchcock. Um, the music that we're using um, is original, but it's inspired by composers like Bernard Herrmann, who did a lot of the Alfred Hitchcock movies and TV show uh, soundtracks. And also, there's a little Bach in there. Um, so we're going to start our show. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> um, it's the dark and stormy night, and we're at a creepy old Victorian house all alone and uh, hearing lots, lots of uh, creepy little sounds and things. Then uh, we move on to uh, what we call calm. And this is kind of uh, just a little breather. Okay, the, the storm has kind of subsided a little bit. We get to relax. And then we build back into the closer, which we're calling Into the Night. And that's when everything goes chaotic. Um, and you'll, you'll hear part of that tonight also. But uh, we start, like you said, like a year ahead of time. This one's been a, bit, a little bit longer. And... Uh, Usually what happens is I do a lot of research and finding uh, visual ideas. Um, you're going to see uh, lots of acting in this. Um, we're doing a lot of different techniques in the show. And uh, the kids have done a great job in hanging in there and learning all these crazy things that I'm asking them to do. Um, but yeah, so we're, this is... Um, on a dark and stormy night, and we're trying to tell a little story here, trying to scare you a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we've got our standard front ensemble stuff. We have the we have two uh, we divide our percussion into two groups. We have one group that's called the battery percussion that's on the field, and we have the front ensemble percussion that's right here. Now you'll notice when the show starts that we have. Uh, a new sound in our front ensemble. I'm not going to say any more about that. And as a matter of fact, I'm not going to say any more at all so we can get on to the show. So this is our version of A Dark and Stormy Night. 